We're back on the build of the 3.5 litre CIS engine and before I start doing the assembly of the case or the bottom end I'm just going to take this opportunity to do a little bit of an experiment I've been wanting to do for a while now. For those of you that are into building these there is a little bit of a differing opinion as to how much sealant you put on the case. So what I'm going to do is while I've got this fresh case that's ready to go is I'm going to actually use it as a test subject. So I'm just going to take the case apart. So the bone of contention is, do you apply the Loctite 574 or whatever sealant that you're using to these web areas? Um, so the crankshaft runs through here in the main bore, your through bolts run through here, and there is some differing opinion as to whether you're supposed to put sealant on here. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt the case together. I'm going to give it a nice dust over and a clean, etc. I'll bolt it together and I'm going to measure a couple of the journals in here. I've, I've already sized the case, so I know that the case is good for assembly. But all I'm needing to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to measure the journals um, with no sealant. Then I'm going to pull it apart again and apply 574 to the mains. Bolt it together and torque it to spec again. And then measure the journals again. And I want to see whether there is a difference in diameter of the main journal. Okay so I've put the case together dry there's no sealant between the uh, the main journals um, and I sort of just took the opportunity to also install my intermediate shaft because I couldn't remember whether I'd actually done this test before and then I found my notes and yes I have uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I had a nice freely turning intermediate shaft and if I put my hand in through the bottom and grab the end of it you can see it turns nice and freely and yes I do have all the nuts installed okay so I've talked the entire case now this probably isn't necessary for what I'm going to do um, but I'm going to pick one journal and it's going to be my number seven journal um, and I'm going to I've used my I'll set my bore gauge up to zero it on the number seven journal and then I'll pull the case apart and I'll put some Loctite 574 and I'll talk it all back together now I don't think I need to put 574 on all the journals I don't think the case is going to be doing that we're really just going to see whether it in, whether it affects the bearing clearance on number seven at all um, and in theory I probably don't even need to install all the through bolts it's probably just the through bolts on that particular journal that I need to um, to install but let's um, let's pull it all apart well, actually before I do I'll just try and set the camera up to show you my bore gauge just one sec focus Okay, so I hope that's in focus. I can't really tell. But I'm just going to move so you can see that it's just approaching the zero and back. Okay, so we are zeroed on that particular journal. Okay, so I've pulled the case apart and I've applied some Loctite 574 to the, the, the journal webs. Um, and I've also thought, well, why don't I put some on here because this is one of those areas which if you can put too much on there you can actually um, you can clog up this little drain groove there so I've probably put a bit too much on um, but yeah I just want to see how much goes into the the, the the bearing area and how much sort of goes into this little groove so let's put the case together and talk it down and see what happens well the results are in I have installed the through bolts on the actual number seven journal and of course on the one just beside it as well just to stabilize the case and I'll make sure that's look through the viewfinder is that focus there we go so that's in millimeters that's metric so I've got 0 0.01 greater clearance so it's not quite half a thou but that's very measurable all right, I might just install another through bolt to see if it makes a difference. Just give me a sec. Okay, so even installing a second set of through bolts didn't make a difference. I'm still at, I'll oh, focus. Yeah, 0 0.01 of a millimeter. Okay, so now what I need to do is pull the case apart and um, let's see what where the sealant has gone. Just to give you, just in case anyone's wondering how accurate I'm being, um, the temperature is pretty constant in here, it's pretty cool, it's about 20-21 degrees and when I put the case together I actually do put a nose bearing in there to align the case um, and then I just sort of like just, I grease it up and then I just loosely tighten these perimeter bolts and I just tap this out with a, sledge, a slide hammer 
and then I tighten everything up so the case is in exactly the right spot every single time. Uh, but yeah, let's, um, let's pull it apart. Okay, so I've pulled the case apart. So this is the left-hand side of the case. It looks like the groove um, isn't full of sealant. But again, this is the left-hand side of the case. So it's a little bit, uh, mis what's the word, deceiving. Um, when you go to the right-hand side of the case, you'll see quite a large bead. So that bead is actually what protruded into the groove. Um, it's not it's not enough to completely block it so it obviously pays to use a very very small amount in this area um, and you can sort of see it's a bit hard to see in the video but where the cases have pulled apart you can see the, the very very thin residue that's left on the case so I just want to see how much of this area that touched the case actually has I mean it's hard to show it in the video, but I mean, where I'm standing, I can see it's very, very mottled, like very, very fine, like it's been dabbed with a sponge. Um, but if I do this, just through the middle there, you can see a little bit of the, um, the orange on the cotton tip there. You can also see the smear mark I've made in that area. Yeah, oh there you go, that's a good view. You can sort of see see I've swept a dry patch through there now. So the yeah, I guess that's that's most of it squeezes out, but the part that's left in there um, increased my journal clearance by 0 0.01 of a millimeter. It definitely is measurable. Anyway, I'll leave that up to you to decide whether you want to put 574 on your case halves. Yeah, but anyway, I hope you liked the video. If this was at all interesting or at all helpful, uh, please do me a favour and like the video and comment down below because I think comments are what sort of help videos get discovered on YouTube and its dreaded algorithm. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.